If your home is not protected by impact-resistant windows and doors, or impact-resistant shutters or panels, consider building your own temporary emergency panels. Count and measure each window and door that has glass, including French doors, sliding glass doors, as well as skylights. You might also want to include roof and gable end vents or any opening that, if damaged, would allow wind to enter your home. Measure each opening horizontally inside the exterior trim and vertically from the sill to the bottom of the top trim. Add 8 inches to both the height and the width to provide a 4-inch overlap on all sides. When measuring a window with an extended sill, measure from the top of the sill to the top of the window and add 4 inches instead of 8. Sheets of plywood are generally 4 feet by 8 feet. This will help determine how many sheets to buy. Be sure to purchase plywood that is 5 eighths inch or greater, exterior grade CDX. You will need a circular saw, drill and drill bits, hammer and wrench, work gloves, and safety goggles for this project. You will also need an assortment of hardware, including bolts, wood or masonry anchors, nuts, and large washers. A range of bolts may be used because different bolts will be needed for wood frame versus masonry homes. Wood homes use lag screws and plastic coated permanent anchors. Masonry homes use expansion bolts and galvanized permanent expansion anchors. Having someone to help you with this project will make things a lot easier. First, drill holes in the same diameter as the bolts or screws. Two inches in from the edge of the plywood at each corner and at 12 inch intervals around the panel. Next, hold the plywood firmly in place over the opening to mark where to drill mounting holes. If the window sill is flush to the wall, secure the plywood on all four sides. If the window sill extends out of the bottom, secure the plywood on the top and two sides. For windows 3 feet by 4 feet or smaller, installed on a wood frame house, use quarter inch lag screws and plastic coated permanent anchors. The lag screws should penetrate the wall and frame surrounding the window at at least one and three quarter inches. For larger windows, use three eighths inch lag screws that penetrate the wall and frame surrounding the window at at least two and one half inches. For windows three feet by four feet or smaller installed on a masonry house, use quarter inch expansion bolts and galvanized permanent expansion anchors. The expansion bolts should penetrate the wall at least one and one half inches. For larger windows, use three eighths inch expansion bolts that penetrate the wall at least one and one half inches. If a window or door is larger than a sheet of plywood, you will need to join the panels with two by four bracing along the entire seam. Attach the two by fours to the outside of the plywood panel with 10 gauge, two inch long galvanized screws, exterior deck screws, spaced every four inches. Use the widest side of the 2x4 to run the length of the entire seam. When you're done, mark each panel with the name of the opening, so you will quickly know where to install it when a storm is approaching. Store the panels, washers, and nuts together in a location away from the elements. Consider waterproofing the panels with paint or a sealant. And remember to visit Flash.org for more information about strengthening your home and safeguarding your family from disaster.